This video features the guitar and bass parts that are present during the choruses of the song. The tuning used in this video and on the record is standard E and 440 wavelength calibration. At the start of the chorus, Guitar One's going to play this E5 power chord on the first beat of the measure with a downward picking motion. The power chord is located uh, on the seventh fret where the root note is on the A string where the first finger is. It will be played just like this and after resting on the 2 and 3 beats on 4 it will play the G5 power chord located on the 3rd uh, fret where the, the first finger is the root note on the low E. You will play this with the downward stroke on 4 and you will shift up to start the next measure with another down stroke on the 1 beat on the A5 power chord. And that will rest for the rest of that measure. So before I confuse you too much more, I'm just going to give you a four count lead in and show you that much so far. Here's what we got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's what we have so far. Then you'll shift back up to the E5 power chord again. Okay, we'll play it with another downward stroke. We're going to rest for about a full measure. One, two, three, four, one. And right here, we're going to shift to the D5, which is the first finger on the A string at the fifth fret. And you're going to play that with an up picking motion. It's on the and beat. And two. And two. And you're going to shift up to the E5 again for the and three beats. So you have. And two, and three. So this is what we have so far. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three. And that's really all the chorus is. Guitar 2 is virtually going to be played the same way as Guitar 1, but with one minor adjustment. Guitar 1 is going to start out in this position where the first finger is on the A string at the 7th fret. This is an E5 power chord. Guitar 2 is going to start out in this position. It's going to play the lower pitched open E5 power chord instead. Musically the two guitar parts are exactly the same thing, but this makes them slightly different which will make the band sound a little fuller. This is why you have two guitar players in a band. You play complementary roles to add quality to the sound and value to the band. With a four count lead in, this is what guitar two is going to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three. Keep in mind that this higher pitched E5 power chord is going to be more noticeable on the record. You're probably not even going to notice the lower pitched E5 that supports it. Most guys are going to want to play the higher pitched E5 because they can hear it. Remember, being in a band is about teamwork. If one guy plays the higher pitched E5, the other guy plays the lower pitched E5, you're playing complementary roles that are going to make your band sound fuller. It's going to add value to the band and quality to the sound, and teamwork is really what being in a band is all about. The bass is going to be the exact same thing as Guitar 2. So if you're using a pick, please go back and watch the section on Guitar 2 and pick the bass the same way. With a four count lead in, this is what the bass part's going to sound like. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three.
Having two guitars in a band is about adding quality to the sound and value to the band. It adds minimal value when both guitars make a habit of playing the same part. There are times when it can't be avoided, but playing two distinctly different parts to make it sound like two different guitars whenever possible will maximize value, quality, and make the band sound fuller. The parts are often already there in the mix on the studio recording, but often go unnoticed in the background. It's just a matter of attention to detail and teamwork to bring them out in the mix with the full band. 